friends, we're back with another video today and we've got three tips to help you stay organized, even for the messiest people, which is why Joni's not here. If you are liking what you're seeing here, like, subscribe, and send us any comments of videos that you'd like to see coming up. So I am naturally an organized person. That doesn't mean that I live in like a perfect state all the time. Um, and I have four other members of my family who are not organized people. They did not get that gene. And so these are actually tips and tricks that I use with my own family to create um, harmony and organization within our own home. So these are tips that even I'm using on a day-to-day -day basis. And let's get into the first one. So rule number one, don't put it down, put it away. This is the basic principle foundation of organizing. Everything that you own should have a place that you can put it away when you are done using it. For example, when you're walking in the door, coming home from a long day at work, don't just throw your keys wherever you feel like it. Have a designated spot, whether that be a basket on an entryway table, a hook right by the front door, Whatever it looks like in your house, just make sure that there is one consistent place that you put those keys. If you're listening to me and saying, look lady, I don't even have a home for anything, that means you need to create a system. And we will be coming up with a video in the near future about how to create those systems. But temporarily, just get yourself a spot. Even if it's just a little piece of tape on a table that this is your spot where you're putting something, just start there. So that's rule one, and if you're always doing rule one, like Joni is, then you probably won't need these other two tips. But normal people, like myself and my family, need these extra tips to help us stay on track. And so tip number two, rule number two, is the 10 minute tidy. That means setting the timer for 10 minutes and choosing a room. Start small, don't like think you're gonna tackle your whole house. Pick one space, 10 minutes, set the timer, grab a laundry basket or something else that you can collect things in and pick everything up that doesn't belong in that room. If you can within that 10 minutes, put it back where it belongs. If you can't, at least you've collected it and you've cleaned and tidied that one room. I'm willing to bet once you get going for 10 minutes, you'll probably wanna keep going. That's generally what happens. But if you absolutely hate it, you know that you only have to do it for those 10 minutes. Now, the 10 minute tidy does not mean clean everything up and just collect it into a basket where it sits there for eternity or shoving things into places where you can't see them. That's not actually the 10 minute tidy. So don't do that because that's just gonna make it worse for yourself down the road. So if even doing this for 10 minutes sounds like the worst thing in the world to you, entertain yourself while you're doing it. Turn on a podcast, listen to some music, find a partner to do it with just find some way to get yourself committed to those 10 minutes. So the third tip is really something that I do. I am working on my family members, truly. Guys, are you listening to me? The third tip is leave a room better than you found it. So before you leave a room, I just do a quick scan and I look for any items. I'm thinking like Terminator, you know, like church. Zoning in on things that do not belong in that room. Just leave the room better than you found it. Okay, first rule, don't put it down, put it away. So do put your keys in a little spot each time you're coming home. Don't drop everything right when you walk in the door and have no idea where you put it all. Do put things away right after you've used them. I'm talking about you, hairbrush. Don't use it and then set it down on the counter and think that somehow it's magically gonna get itself back there. Rule number two, 10 minute tidy. Just do it. <laughs> Set the timer for 10 minutes, pick up a laundry basket, do your 10 minute tidy, whether that be just one room or your entire apartment. Either way, commit yourself to that 10 minutes. Don't do the 10 minute tidy and leave everything sitting in that laundry basket or just shove things into random cabinets. That's not gonna help you. Rule number three, leave a room better than you found it. So that means do pick things up that don't belong when you're moving from room to room. Don't leave a room worse than you found it by leaving your stuff all over the place. That's just not nice to yourself or anybody else that you have to live with. So no matter where you are on your organizing journey, we are realists and we know that you have to start small. Start with the most basic foundations and even if this seems like a lot, just try, just start and get yourself on that journey because we promise you it'll pay off. And send us any questions that you may have or any successes that you're having with these three tips that we've shared today. And remember, if it's practical for you, 
It's perfect for you. Throw it up in the air. Oh wait, do that one more time and just throw it up in the air. Okay. On and then off? Yeah, on and then off. <laughs>